Hi everyone. I've had a few days to have a play around with the uh, PDF forms converter that was demoed at Nintex Process Fest. So if you've missed it, you can always catch up on demand. Um, and I wanted to do a quick run through uh, with some of the notes that are on observations that I've made uh, with a real life PDF form. I love this. I think it's a massive uh, benefit for anyone looking at an electronic forms creation, electronic forms project. And I think it goes a long way to sort of reducing the time and effort that goes into building a form. Uh, so a couple of points to note. Uh, first and foremost, what I'm going to show is a beta feature. It is currently in advanced preview, but it can be unlocked for existing Nintex customers um, for assessment purposes at the moment. It is, I found, best used with fillable PDFs. Uh, I think the machine learning and artificial intelligence technology behind the creator works better with those sort of, I guess, areas and controls that are already predetermined to be fillable. Um, although it does do a translation job with something that's a bit more flat as a PDF, um, it does work better with fillable PDFs. And I've found Although it will work with a Word document that's been saved as a PDF, there's probably still a bit of um, a work to do. It's currently only available for an Intex Workflow Cloud, um, and I think probably best viewed as an accelerator. I don't think it's going to do everything that you want it to do at the click of a button, um, but it goes a huge way to, to saving time up front and effort. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the PDF first and foremost, then I'm going to... Um, I'm going to use it is found on the Australian Tax Office website. It's a public facing PDF uh, and it's a withholding declaration form for tax. Um, so if I scroll through this, uh, you know, there's a, there's a fair bit of labeling and direction on here. Again, these might well be elements that you want to skip in something that's a bit more digital. Uh, you know, it's sort of there's a lot of instruction based stuff on there. Um, and then the rubber hits the road on the last two pages so of an eight page form uh, just two pages of them are required for filling and you'll see it is a fillable pdf all right so i'm going to close that down and i'm going to create my workflow first of all and i'm going to import that form for creation so the first thing that i need is a start event so what's the initiation for the workflow and in this case it's a form so we're going to go into the design canvas uh, I like my Nintex, so I'll we'll turn that on and we'll design the form. So there's a couple of things here new. Uh, well, first and foremost, to start with uh, a PDF, which is marked as beta. So we'll click on that. So we're sort of transitioning from the traditional forms designer into the PDF form converter. If you want to watch a quick video, uh, you can link out to that there. But what I first need to do is import the PDF. There's a little uh, sort of, I guess, prerequisite must be less than 50 meg and less than 20 pages. Uh, best results achieved with fillable PDFs, as we've said. So my PDF has been imported on the left hand side. Uh, we saw that already from the, the actual PDF, the default PDF. On the right hand side is my sort of a staging environment, if you like. And I can scroll through my PDF to see all the pages. Now the sort of natural progression that I saw using is click on the content section first. So what's the what do you want to do with the the, the actual PDF? So before you start uh, choosing elements, and then uh, what you want to change the content to if you need to change it in your staging environment as well. You've got an undo and a redo, and then you can finish the whole thing in the sort of more granular bespoke forms uh, canvas. So I want to perhaps convert an entire page. So you can click on convert and it's going to do a fair bit of matching for you. Uh, and then you can start to change the content to various uh, sort of things that you need it to. So if I wanted to change uh, perhaps the an instructions page uh, in section, I can change that to a specific uh, type of control. You can also identify and locate using, uh, again, choose the content section first and then the locate. And that's going to highlight for you. Uh, and that's going to help you if you need to change something on the other side. 
So if I scroll through to um, my page seven and eight, which actually have real controls on there that I want to actually convert, I'm just going to convert that whole page. And then I can start to work backwards from here. So if I wanted to exclude a certain element, now it looks like this little section here has come through. I can click on exclude and choose that. That's going to remove that for me. Um, so one thing I have found is things like bulleted lists and sort of weird and wonderful um, science symbols such as that do get brought across. So there will be an element of validation. You can see here, I'm probably going to have to, in the forms designer, go back and change some labeling and instructions too, because it does bring through uh, bulleted lists uh, through in like that. You also notice that labeling isn't something, and sorry, imagery isn't something that gets copied across as well. All right, so really that's all there is to it. Um, you know, a, you can go granular if you really want to, to actually include or exclude particular elements if you've excluded them. But what I think I, I've found is I'm either converting a whole page um, and then actually just sort of retrofitting things back because the, the amount of full-blown digital transformation between the PDF form that's already in a fillable stage isn't 100%. So I'm, I'm probably just adding it all and then taking the 5% out. Uh, and then I'm ready to finish this in the forms designer. Uh, and that's going to bring me into Nintex Workflow Cloud Forms. Uh, so as I said, it's, uh, in its, um, it's in its infancy at the moment, PDF converter. But you can, um, if you need to, unlock this for your environment. If you're an Nintex Workflow Cloud customer, if you're not an Nintex Workflow Cloud customer, feel free to sign up for a trial at nintex.com. Uh, and we can enable this great feature for you. Uh, and we'd love to hear your feedback on this. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon.